And thank you, Bridget. Now to a story you saw exclusively first on Local 10 News. A man accused of threatening a powerful state senator is now taking a plea deal. He's accused of extorting Lauren Book with hacked personal photos. Local 10's Glenna Milberg was inside the courtroom. She's live in Fort Lauderdale with what he had to say. Glenna. Nicole, he's a Plantation High School graduate, a 20-year-old self-described gamer who took on the state legislature's most powerful Democrat. Today in court, he said he did it, but he did not plead guilty. Jeremy? Uh, no comment at this time, please. Thank you. Jeremy Camperveen did not plead guilty, but... That is no contest, sir. I will accept your no contest. Yet he agreed to punishment for extorting and cyber-stalking the most powerful Democrat in the state legislature, his own senator, Lauren Book, here via Zoom. I call him here, Your Honor. He even apologized. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. It's... I, I know I hurt you real bad. These are screenshots of what Camperveen sent Senator Book last November, her personal and revealing photos he'd somehow obtained from her cell phone, and threats. I'll leak them all out and your career will be over. State agents took over and pretending to be Book, texted through four full days with him. At times friendly, even flirty. He asked for money and sex. They agreed to 4000 in cash. And this is the table at Starbucks where they agreed to meet and where agents arrested Camperveen. Listen to what happens next. We're going to assume your identity on here. Okay. And this is basically giving us permission to take over your account. State agents using Camperveen to keep investigating. We see in evidence his texts with an S. Harris, who sent Camperveen the material and says he received it from someone Senator Book knows. Camperveen apparently took it from there. We spoke to Senator Book late this afternoon. She says this cyber stalking issue goes so deep, is such a problem, and she said she wouldn't be surprised if it was politically motivated. Meanwhile, she plans to be at the sentencing here next month. She has a story to tell. She wants the court to know how damaging this was for her and her family. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Fort Lauderdale today, Local 10 News.